Hey everyone, I'm Mari Ray. Welcome back to more No Man's Sky. This episode, we are not going to be continuing on with the story because I got sick unintentionally. I was planning to sit down and record episodes of this for the uh, for the continuing the story, and then I got sick, and every word that came out of my mouth was followed by like a flurry of coughing. And for good commentary, that does not make. So I didn't get the chance to record this weekend. So instead, I'm doing this quick update video just so you guys get a video, and I'm hoping to be able to record next weekend, or this upcoming weekend, so that I'll have some actual progress for you guys next time. But I was going to do this anyway in the beginning of the next episode, which is just to catch you up to speed, because obviously I've changed if my character isn't proof of that enough because I don't change my character's looks every episode. Oh man, you can't give me character creation. I'm a simmer at heart, guys. If you give me the ability to customize or base build or whatever, I'm gonna probably do it far more often than I probably should. But we've made some serious progress here um, in between episodes. So last we left off, Apollo was telling us that we need to get prepared to fight. So I wanted to do that and I have been doing just that. So in between episodes, I've been exploring and upgrading. So first things first, I got a brand new multi-tool. I stumbled across an S-Class case um, in a space station when I was just doing my random warping and exploring because that's typically what I do when I'm not recording episodes. And so I found this S-Class um, multi-tool in there and I could afford to buy it. So oh uh, heck yeah so we've upgraded our multi-tool. I still have the A-Class one. It's like my backup right now I suppose but but basically we have this brand new multi-tool it's amazing and i love it it melts things it's absolutely wonderful but with this new firepower of course i had to do some experimentation we'll get to that in just a moment but the other major update we got guys guys check it check it wow. a brand new ship that's right this is what i was originally saving money for and obviously if you saw my bank account just a second ago we're sitting pretty right now and that's because to afford this bad boy i had to do a bunch of stuff and then in between there i just kept doing the same the same things basically um i sold a bunch of ships and scrapped them so uh before the end of last episode, I think I mentioned that I had a hauler that I had found, as well as some other ships, so basically the cheapest one I found was an explorer, and that one traded pretty smoothly for like maybe one and a half million, and then I had a shuttle, and just a side note about shuttles that I've experienced in my waiting for this ship is that, yeah, this I feel the same about every shuttle, and that pretty much boils down to... Shuttles. So ugly! I don't know what it is about them. They are—they look like floating e-cigarettes, and it bothers me, and I don't know why. I have not seen a good-looking shuttle yet, so if you know a good-looking shuttle, tell me where I can find it, because, wow, I don't like any of those ships. But other than that, it was the hauler that we traded that got us the bulk of our money for maybe, like, I think around 15 million. I'm not even sure. But it was enough to afford this bad boy right here. And waiting on this thing was a task. I kid you not, you guys. Uh, the system that I had found it in, I scouted it out a little bit ago, and I knew I wanted this ship. And when I went to that system for the first time, this thing flew in as like the first round of ships that came through. And I think I went back and visited the same station again at some point, and it was like the first ship again. So I'm thinking this will be smooth. It'll be easy. I waited at a trade station every day after work for like three days for hours waiting for this thing to fly. And now I'll admit I was trying to be picky and I was waiting on a A-class at least. An S-class would have been brilliant, but with how long it took an A-class to fly in, there was no way I was gonna wait for the patience for an S-class. I just wanted at least an A-class to fly in, and man, I saw the exotic of this system like four different times. It's, I, I wasn't really interested in this particular exotic, but hey, if you like it, it's there on the screen for you to see. Uh, it's like an orange, uh, an orange, I call them a mosquito or like a bird or whatever ship. I like those ships, but I like the ones that don't have the long wings. 
Um, so that's the type that I'm really interested in. But I wasn't interested in pitching out for the exotic just yet, but I saw this thing come through four different times. So that was fun to see the ship that has like a 2% chance of spawning pop in several different times. But the one I wanted took forever. Are solars really rare or do I just have crappy luck? Like when the game knows I have the money for what I want, it doesn't spawn the thing. And eventually, finally an a-class landed and i was able to snag this ship so if you have any ideas for names for this thing let me know it's a black and white solar um i didn't rename it but i would love to give it a new name but it'd be cool if you guys could could name it for me you know so if you got a name that you think that i should call the ship uh let me know let me know but once we were decked out with a brand new ship i've been on the move trying to try to get some augmentations so that I can actually expand my uh, tech up here because I've maxed it out with all of my mini upgrades that I've acquired from exploring and I want to make the ship even more powerful so I need more space up here to, to load in even more upgrades and right now I don't have them so I was also finding even more crash ships out when I was adventuring which is how we ended up with like 11 million units I mean, I was out and about for quite a while just finding crash ship after crash ship, but, you know, eventually I got sidetracked, which was, I also started doing missions. So when I got sick and I couldn't uh, basically record for a while, uh, at least not with my voice, I sat down and did some Nexus missions, and some of those were really fun. So I, in between episodes, have actually fought the Sentinels and fought every single wave of them, but I still fought them like a punk. Uh, I kind of hid inside of the building just like with the last fight that we did with the Sentinels. So I got a Nexus mission that was to take out uh, a, a Sentinel deposit and I figured with my brand new super shiny powerful weapon, what better time to try to face them on the front lines than right now since the last time I, I flaked, I punked out. So you know, it's just sort of like, let's do this. So I fought the Sentinels head on and that was, that was fun. That was a lot of fun actually. Once those things were defeated, I pretty much started doing a lot of Nexus missions so that I could start building up some Quicksilver because Quicksilver gives you access to more cosmetics. You guys, cosmetics, obviously, I don't have a problem with changing up the way things look constantly. So yeah, there's no way that I'm gonna totally invest a bunch of time into getting more cosmetic changes for this game. But I've been doing Nexus missions on the side, most of which some of them are re either repetitive or they're just sort of docile. But I did find some cool stuff on a few Nexus missions. Like I found a traveler grave on a couple of them 
And the first time I found one, I wasn't recording, but the second time I found one, I did turn on the recording. And it was actually here on this planet, which is where we're based at. But Traveler Graves apparently get you glyphs. So we now know two glyphs um, that just happened to be there when we were going through with Nexus missions. So, But outside of that, I also went just exploring, just gathering whatever I could as I was looking around. And um, if you're interested in this swanky new hood that we got, I have no idea where the mission came from, but there was this one mission called um, Under Rebel Star, I think, and I started doing it because it had a skull on it, and I was thinking it might involve me having to fight something, and I wanted to test out my weapon and my ship's, my ship's capabilities, honestly, but it didn't. I didn't actually end up fighting anything on that mission, but if you follow that chain, you end up getting this helmet. It's uh, basically going to introduce you to pirate systems, so you sort of follow a, a beacon. I don't even remember where I picked this up. This mission's been in my log forever, and I still have a crap ton of missions in my log that I have not, like, cleared out. But that's sort of what I've been doing in between since I haven't been feeling the best here, and it's just been a little bit of a sucky time for me but i'm recovering now i feel a lot better i don't know if i still sound crappy or not i'm i think i sound a lot better and obviously i can talk without coughing so that's always a plus i'm eager to uh continue on with the story though now that i feel even more powerful but um yeah as we wait for the story to continue i'm probably gonna go about exploring some more which is pretty much what I do when I'm not playing the story. I'm just hopping systems, scanning creatures, finding some really interesting looking creatures. Look at them legs! Look at them legs! They're amazing! And uh, yeah, just looking for new things to find and explore. Trying to see if I can stumble across any cool looking ships or, or any cool new multi-tools. And eventually, someday, maybe I'll actually build a base because I've been starting some stuff here. But yeah, it's not, it's not done and now I'm actually uninspired with this world. So I kind of want to find a different one. So eventually we'll get there. We'll get there, peeps. We'll find it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. It's going to be short, sweet, and simple. I apologize for not having any progress really done, but I'm hoping next time we come back that we'll be able to actually throw ourselves into fighting the Sentinels with Apollo and get this story going. So um, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, sorry about it again, but I'm fully recovered now, or at least I feel fully recovered, so I'm hoping to get back to it in the next time. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like or don't, that's up to you. But I do hope that you'll come back and join me for more No Man's Sky here on the channel. Thanks all. Bye-bye.